Hey guys, so previously I made a video where I review used slime and on that video, many of you actually requested me to do a used versus new slime review. I thought it was a great idea, so I am doing that. Starting off with the first slime, I actually already bought and reviewed this slime before, but I never bought the new version of it. Originally it cost $9.99 and a used version is $8.70, so about a dollar off. It said that the item will come in original packaging and the packaging will be damaged. I also want to clarify that I did buy another used version just because they somehow had more in stock, which is kind of weird to me because this product had good ratings, so more than one person returned this or somehow it got lost in transit. Right off the bat, for the new version, this looks close to the pictures on the listing. I see a lot of strawberry slices and that's what I got. This is a two-toned cloud slime, seven ounces. For the pink slime, I noticed that it's on the dry side. I don't really have a preference whether or not cloud slimes are moist or dry, but I will be telling you just for more information. So this had a quite a bit of slow and stiff drizzle. For me, I do like when cloud slimes have that effortless, easy drizzle, but it could also be because I don't know how to drizzle cloud slimes. I'm still learning. So for the scent of this, I don't know if Amazon sellers use the same scents, but it smells like that, that tea, that sweet iced tea smell or that clean smell. Both the pink and the yellow cloud slimes were pretty much similar. Both had minimal fallout. I do want to point out that if you do stretch it fast, it could rip. Moving on to the used version of this, so this came in a clear baggie and it had that Amazon inspection sticker. Something I also observed is the seller's uh, product label is different than the new version. Not that it really matters, but I just wanted to point it out. This does have less fruit slices than the new version. I also noticed that these slimes are more moist and less stiff. These were easier to drizzle, had the same scent and everything. How to wash your hands tutorial. How to wash your hands. Step 1. Wet your hands. Step 2. Put soap on hands. Step 3. Wash hands. And for the pink one, it had a similar texture scent as the yellow one. Overall, when you compare the used and the new slimes, I will always prefer the new version. I just don't feel that a dollar cheaper is worth getting the used version in my opinion, even though there wasn't a huge dramatic difference. Now on to the second slime. So we got a 2019 upgrade version fluffy slime, jumbo fluffy flom slime, ocean blue colored, $8.99 is the cost of the new version. A used version is $8.36. Condition is very good, minor cosmetic imperfections on top, front or sides of items. Item will come in original packaging, packaging will be damaged. Upon opening the new version, the package came with rainbow flown beads, their business card, and the slime was bubble wrapped. For the used version, the package was already open, so that was that, and it came with rainbow flown beads. This slime was also bubble wrapped. It also had a label on top of the container. 
What I like so far is how these slimes came in their own box instead of just straight up in Amazon packaging. What you're looking at is the new version and so far I am digging the color. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. This slime is thick, it's so nice to poke, it's glossy, it's creamy and soft. I'm not even gonna bother describing the scent because guess what? It smells the same. All of these Amazon slimes smell similar. This looks pretty much exactly like the listing except one of the pictures had a unicorn charm so it made it seem like I was going to get a unicorn charm but I didn't get a unicorn charm. The used version had some dried up slime on the outside of the lid, not a big deal. One difference I know is the color. The color is more greener. One other main big difference is this one is thinner and more melted. It's not as thick as the new version. It was also a bit sticky, no bubble pop, so I did have to add a little bit of activator. Because it's thin, it was really stretchy, had the same scent. It's pretty obvious the new slimes were better than the used ones, so it wins. I'm not saying that new slimes are always 100% better than the used ones because there could be that one miracle where the used slimes are better than the new ones. You never know. There also weren't that many used slimes available on Amazon either. This one is a more traditional store-bought slime. I believe you can buy these in stores like Target. I was surprised that there was a used version of this. This was originally $14.78. A used one is $14.48. So only about 50 cents, 20 cents, I can't do math, cheaper. The conditions were it was basically like new and that it would come in original packaging, but the packaging will be damaged. There is the new one on the left side and the used one on the right side. I must say for the price that I paid for this, this is a massive steal. Considering that I'm getting 24 ounces for only $15, plus I got free shipping because of Prime, I don't know how much this would cost if you were to go to the store to buy it, but big steal. First thing I notice is the bright neon orange color, which I love, and the gloss. The gloss is real, it is so fun to poke, and makes great, fantastic bubble pops. It didn't have any particular scent. I'm just overall really happy with the slime. Now on to the used one. So this one had that Amazon inspection logo. It also has some dried up, I think it's slime. I don't know why it's blue though, so that's a little questionable. So this one is not as bright as the new one. This didn't have that neon shine to it, but it's still glossy.
when they are side by side you can tell that the used one has less product and you can definitely tell the color difference and the shine difference between the two one thing i learned is that the neon doesn't last forever but still love the slime that concludes this video this was an interesting one to film and i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i will see you in my next video bye